accept the Lord Jesus, my brother? Breaking news power blackout connecting the south side. I hope those were fireworks. Darkness is always right around the corner. Is that girl still missing? I'm not worried. You'll find. What's up YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another The Shy video if you're new. Make sure y'all leave it theories, comments, everything down below in the comment section. If you're a fan of The Shy, if you love The Shy, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you can always see when I'm dropping some content so you never miss any The Shy news. Now this is gonna be my what to expect video for The Shy season three, episode five, and the title to this episode is Terror Town, and that just sounds like the episode is going to be lit. The description to this episode reads, Ronnie's memories threaten to drown his progress. An unexpected visit threatens Trigg's battle to get custody of Jake. Kevin and his friends' adventure test the limit of their fight or fight instincts. Emmett capitalizes on a predicament. Now, it sounds like a solid episode. I don't know if it's going to be as good as the last episode because... In my opinion, episode 4 was the best episode so far this season. I really enjoyed it. I listened to some people's videos where they said that was the worst episode of the season, but in my opinion, I think episode 4 was the best episode. Now this what to expect is going to be based off the trailer and the description. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now the trailer starts with a group of people at the beach, and then it flashes to Ronnie and Papa's father, the pastor, and they're talking and it looks like Ronnie's gonna get baptized. Now we've seen this in the trailer. We knew that Ronnie was gonna be getting baptized. Then next we see Ronnie actually getting baptized. Um, he's on his knees and he's accepting God into his life. That's what the pastor told him to do, was to accept God into his life so God can guide him in the right direction. Because in the last episode, Ronnie was talking about how God led him to um, that girl on the beach, but it wasn't the right girl. And then the pastor said to him, um, at least God led you anyways. At least he led you some type of way. And now you got to fully accept him into your life so he can guide you even more. So he took that into consideration. And that's probably why he's getting baptized. He wants to bring God into his life. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with Ronnie because I really hope he can be on the right path this time. We've seen him do good in season two, and then he slipped up. When Jason's baby mother um, told him he couldn't see the baby anymore, then Ronnie totally went downhill again. That kind of messed him up, and he started drinking. He blew Jada off when they were supposed to have a date, and just all this type of stuff that was going on with his life, um, it made him go downhill again, and it made him just start drowning himself in liquor and doing all kinds of stupid stuff again so i hope he can get on the right path i hope he gets baptized and accepts god into his life and i hope he starts making better decisions and i hope he finds keisha now next we see the neighborhood we see a view of this house and it looks like there's going to be a blackout and then we see kevin and his girl Gemma, walking down the street they're in the neighborhood he got a flashlight and they're just walking down the street Next we see Duda and he's just sitting in this office or his house and he's reading some documents on the table and then the lights go out. The whole city is going to be going through this blackout in this episode and hopefully it doesn't cause chaos because sometimes in situations like this it causes trouble. Hopefully the community can come together and they can come together as one and work together in order to get the lights back on. Hopefully it just doesn't cause tons of chaos. Next we see Kevin with Gemma and they're standing here and then a dog starts barking at them so kevin turns around he gets all scared then next we see duda he's putting the beating down on somebody he's beating somebody the hell up and they're standing by a perry's pizza vehicle so it looks like they're in the back of perry's pizza and then we see jake come out the door and he's just looking he has that look on his face like damn really duda's really like this like I had no idea and he's looking really disappointed because in the last episode he introduced Duda as his father to Gemma's dad 
and he's just looking really disappointed because he thought Duda was better than this. I said this in previous videos that Jake was going to find out who Duda really was. And I also made a video asking if you guys think uh, Jake was going to kill Duda or not. And that's definitely a possibility because he's going to definitely find out who Duda really is. And if he doesn't kill him, he's at least going to go try and live with Trig. Next, we see Trig coming to the door. Somebody came to his door. He answered the door. And I assume this is somebody that he's not expecting to see. Somebody that's going to mess with his battle of custody to get Jake. Um, that's just based off the description. I'm, I'm just assuming um, that it's somebody that's going to really mess with him getting custody of Jake. So we're going to see Trig struggling with that, which is very sad because I want to see him and Jake um, together. But next we see Papa and Maisha. And there's also Kevin and some other people in the background. I assume Kevin's with Gemma. You can't really see. But it looks like they're having a good little time. You know, there's a blackout. They got candles lit. And it looks like they're just having a good time dancing and whatnot. Next, we see Emmett. And I don't know what's going on here. I really don't know what's going to happen with Emmett in this episode. But in the description, it says Emmett capitalizes on a predicament. So he's going to have some type of predicament in this episode. And it seems like he always has a predicament in every episode. So I wonder what this one's going to be. Now, next, we see Ronnie. And in the description, it says Ronnie's memories threaten to drown his progress. So um, I just assume here that he's going to be sitting in the dark. He's going to be thinking about stuff. Um, he's going to have certain memories that's going to try to interfere with him trying to find Keisha and trying to interfere with him trying to better his life. So it looks like he's really going through it right here. So he's probably thinking about some thoughts that he shouldn't be thinking about. But hopefully he stays on the right path. I want to see Ronnie do good. I really do. Now, next we see Jake, and it looks like that might be Big Mike or something. They're running, and I don't know what they're running from. They might be running from whatever was going on with Otis Perry and him beating down that dude in the back of Perry's Pizza. So whatever's going on here, they're running from something. So somebody's after them, or they're just trying to run from the cops or something. But Jake is definitely in a situation he does not want to be in. Now, next we see Kevin and Gemma, and they're just standing there, and then they look at this picture. Um, that's the girl that died on the beach. Now, this is really sad because in the last episode, at the end of the episode, Nina and Dre were sitting there, and they were talking about Keisha, and they were like, at least it wasn't Keisha. Um, and Nina's like, nope, it wasn't Keisha, but that was somebody else's daughter. So she knows exactly how those people feel that lost their daughter because you know, she's been missing Keisha for quite some time. Keisha's been missing and she's been thinking Keisha's dead anyways. So she's been going through it and she knows exactly how those other parents have been feeling. Um, she knows how much they've been missing their daughter. And for them to find out that she ended up dead, man, that's just something tragic. That's just something serious. And I don't wish that on nobody for them to actually go through um, missing a child like that. And for them to actually find out that their child is dead, I don't wish that on nobody, man. That has to be a horrible feeling. And I seriously feel so bad for Nina and also Dre. And I just feel bad, man, because this is touching on real life situations. Now, next it shows Miss Ethel. And I guess she's out of the nursing home and she's talking to Ronnie and she's like, is that girl still missing? And, you know, then it shows the kids riding their bike down the street. And then it shows Ronnie standing there and it looks like he's looking for Keisha. And you still hear Miss Ethel's voice. And she's saying, I know you'll find her. So I just feel like Ronnie's going to find her because they keep making it seem like he's going to be the one to do it. They wouldn't keep having Ronnie look for Keisha for him not to find her. Um, it just seems like he's definitely going to be the one to find her. And now they're even having Miss Ethel say, I know you'll find her. So I just definitely think Ronnie's going to be the one to find Keisha or he's just going to have some major involvement in the finding of Keisha. But yeah, that's what we can expect from the next episode. Let's hope and pray that they find Keisha in this next episode because it just seems like this stuff is getting dragged out. I don't want to see this last until the season finale. So let's hope Keisha gets found soon and let's hope she gets found alive. But I'll be continuing to bring you guys more of the shy content in the future. If you guys want to donate to the channel to help support the channel, I got links in the description to do so. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. 
I'm out. Peace.